In this video, I'm going to go over hidden lines and when you can and cannot turn them off on your drawing sheets. So here I have opened my drawing sheet and I've placed my very basic views here. I have my front view, my top view, my right hand side view, and then I have my isometric view up here in the top right corner. So these are the four views we start with on our drawings and then we may have to add additional views to this. But before we do that, let's take a look at these views and the hidden lines that are showing up on them. So hidden lines, as a reminder, they are these dashed lines that show up. The solid lines are object lines. They show us the edges or the parts of the feature that we can actually see. And then the hidden lines show us features that are hiding underneath. So for example, these two dashed lines here on the top view, they represent the hollow cylinder here. So from the top, you wouldn't see that, but the hidden lines, they show us that that cylinder exists. Now, as we're looking at this, with this object, when we look straight down at the top of it, we're not actually looking directly at this side over here. We are looking directly at the cylinder and directly at this side over here. But this side is at an angle, and you can see that with the hidden lines here. It has these dashed lines and these dashed um, circles here that are making us think that there's a cutout that's maybe staggered or not in line with the other object lines and it's because we're not looking directly at that part we're actually looking at the horizontal component of that angled feature here so in this view you might take a look at this and say you know what these hidden lines they're actually taking away from this view more than they're adding to it and what that means is they're actually confusing the view more than they're actually helping understand the view. And if we take a look here at the right hand side, you can see that is definitely the case here. There's just too many hidden lines showing up on the right hand side view here. It's hard to tell what is actually happening, which line belongs to which cutout or which feature. So in this case, your hidden lines are taking away from your view rather than helping understand it. So when you don't want to show hidden lines on your drawing, you can double click on the view, it will op open up the drawing view editor here. And underneath style, this is where you can turn hidden lines off. Now I double clicked on my front view, and you can see that my style is grayed out. That's because it's linked to my base view. Now my base view is the first one I placed on my sheet, or it's the one that I projected my front view off of. And in this case, that's my front view. So if instead I double click on my front view, you can see that we can actually select the style buttons here. And right now we have selected the first one, which is hidden line. If you want to turn off your hidden lines, you can select the second one, which says hidden line removed. Click OK. And you'll notice that because you changed your base view, all of the views that are projected off of it, they update as well. So the hidden lines have been removed from all of the views. Now as we look at this, yep, the top view looks a lot cleaner. It's not as confusing. Now, we can't see the edges of the cylinder here, but we also don't see all those muddled up um, offset stagger or hidden lines here. And same thing with the side view here. It's much cleaner without those hidden lines. However, the front view, the front view is actually, it needs those hidden lines. It tells us where those holes go, how far those holes go into the part, whether they go all the way through or they stop part ways down, um, and the location of those holes. So what we actually want in this case is we want to leave the hidden lines on for our front view, but turn them off for the top and the side view. So let's start by just turning them back on. So I turned them on for my front view and my top and side updated because they're linked. And now I'm going to go back into my top view here and underneath style, you'll see the check mark here where it's linking it to the base. We're gonna uncheck that. Then you'll notice you can actually change the style for this view. So go ahead, turn off the hidden lines for your top view. You'll notice turning them off there, left them turned on for the front view. And let's do the same thing for our right hand side view here. So I'm gonna double click on my right hand side view, come in, unlink it from my front view, choose hidden line removed underneath style, click OK. And there we have it. This is a lot more um, easy to understand what's going on. We have our dashed hidden lines on our front view is showing us where all of these circular holes are cut out through the part and how far they go through the part. So this is easy to understand. And our right hand side view and our top view, they're less muddled up with all those hidden lines that we're actually taking away from the drawing. And I have one more example here. 
we take a look at the gear part I have here, you can see that we have ourselves a bevel gear that has a spur gear tooth profile cut out through the middle here. So we've got our bevel gear teeth here, and then we've got the straight perpendicular to the face spur gear teeth in the middle here. Now from the front view, which is this view over here on the left, we can see this is giving us a lot of detail. It's not looking directly at the bevel teeth, but it tells us how many teeth there are, what their spacing is, and it gives us the perfect perpendicular profile here of our spur gear teeth. Now the side view, and you'll notice I only put the front view and the right hand side view because the right hand side view and the top view would be identical, so we don't need two repeating views on here. Now the side view has a ton of hidden lines. You can't tell which tooth these point at, what dimensions they're giving us. It's just confusing with all of these hidden lines on here. So in this case, we're going to turn the hidden lines off just for the side view here. So I'm going to double click on the side view. Underneath style, I'm going to unlink it from the base and I'm going to choose remove hidden line. And you'll notice this cleans the side view up a lot more. You're not getting those muddled hidden lines that are taking away from the object lines. You can see what you're looking at and then you can add additional views to your page as needed to fully dimension your gear here. The reason I turned it off only for the side view and not the front view is I want to leave the hidden line here on the front view showing me where the edge of my gear is, this circle right here. And I don't want to turn that off because that would actually take away from understanding this view. So that's a little bit about when you would use hidden lines and when you would turn off hidden lines as you guys are setting up your drawing sheets.